Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a special weaving session for you Aquarius. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. The reading for today is how do they feel about your reading? For Aquarius friends, this is for you guys. Alright? I hope you're well. Before I start, I want to thank you Aquarius for your support, your likes, and your subscribe. If you guys are interested to further support my channel, uh, go to the description box below because you'll find the details of my website. Um, that is where you can purchase a private reading. You can um, read some astrology update over there. Follow my other channel. We offer daily astrology and the general tarot reading for uh, the month of May. It's already available in Astro Style TV. And follow me on Instagram if you are keen, if you are interested. Okay? So, I'm going to be pulling one more card. This is the mutual energy of you and your person, okay? So, how do they feel about you reading for Aquarius? This is your person's energy, their feelings, their views towards you. This is your card, your views and feelings towards your person, okay? And this is the mutual energy of you and them, all right? So, let's start your reading, Aquarius. Um, so, let's look at the past feelings and views of your person towards you. They have here the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like this person in the past, um, they're very responsible human being, okay, in general. They're very responsible in terms of their commitment with their career, with their life, with taking care of themselves, if they have you know, ex-wife or you have family, they do focus and take care of that. They're, I'd say, they're an okay person to be with, okay? Um, the king of swords in the, in the upright position, I felt like um, they are responsible and also very logical whenever they think of, because um, the way I pick up the energy of your person in the past is that they've got responsibility and they want to be in control of their responsibility. They operate both in logic and practical ways. And this is connected to how they love, how they share their feelings, and how they will commit. Um, I feel like this person is wanting to achieve balance, okay? I think this person, when you met them, um, they are in the middle or they in the process of just um, reinstating balance in terms of money, in terms of maturity, Um they are at a peak of something in their life that is possibly why they could not really, I don't know, I feel like they could not attend to you fully. Because if you look at the King of Pentacles, it's looking this way. It seems to be it's busy with career. And then King of Swords, it's controlling their feelings towards you, okay? Because this is the King of Swords and they've got these wings, you know. It's more of, you know, they want to fly, you know, their feelings towards you. They want to bloom. They want to transform, but they're being reminded of the king of pentacles on top, which is like you have commitment. You've got other things. So stay in control of your mind over your heart. Okay. So from past to present, six of wands. Wow. You've got six and six. This person will come back. This person will return. This person will revisit the things between the two of you. Okay. I don't think it was a bad breakup or I don't know, but I feel like. From past to present, the way your person sees you, um, it's not bad. It can be reconciled, it can be fixed, it can be saved, okay? They're very practical, they're very focused on what they want. If you guys didn't materialize or you did, you were not successful in the past, your person is going to resurface. I don't know, I feel like they will contact you on social media accounts, Six of Wands. Or you'll see them somewhere because Six of Wands, this is passion. And it's also winning. They want to be victorious. This is like a slot. This is like a landslide win. Like I want to win my Aquarius big time. Okay. It's not a simple. It's not a simple move. It's something grand. Okay. And then six of swords in reverse. So it's going back to their mental process that it's 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 okay now. Um, I've done my assignment. It's okay now to resurface, reconcile, reoffer, or fix. Okay. So. They don't have a lot of pain or bitterness towards you. Um, they're not also blaming themselves on why it was not successful. They're just really focused on whatever it is that it's important for them to do in the past 
that commitment. And now that they have, I think they were successful. And the, there's something with your person that I feel like the vibe is that I'm ready. You know, six of ones. I am marching. I am very successful. I free up my responsibility so I can go back. So there's a going back vibe and factor towards your person. Okay. Um, it's more of till we meet again. All right. I'm getting that word. Um, from your end, your energy towards your person, you've got the five of cups and the seven of pentacles. Um, the seven of pentacles, this is like, it's a loss of investment or something to do with, you're not sure whether this person is going to fill in the, um, or they're just filling in. Okay. You felt, you felt like, um, something is, something is not quite right in the past. I think you know that five of cups in reverse. I think you were, I think this is a rebound for some of you. You met this person when you were getting over a relationship for some of you, or for some of you, you've completely healed. And then you're willing to invest with this person. Like you're really willing to go full time and be in commitment with your person, but you felt like they aren't ready or you felt like they might. Because Seven of Pentacles, this is re-evaluating re 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 and happy with your crops. You know, this is a, a gardener who planted a lot of pentacles in their um, garden and they're, um, you know, they're ready to... Um, harvest the pentacles that they planted in the ground it has bloomed but it's in reverse so i felt like um you're ready you're okay to go full-time commit with your commitment with your person in the past but you felt like you're not getting in through their priority like you know or you have a feeling that they are not you are not their priority you have some sort of connection with your person. And I feel like coming from your energy, touching these two cards, I felt like you admire, you, you admire your person, okay? And you have some sort of respect with your person. You tried to get into their life. I think you tried, but you failed. Um, it, it's not about, it's not about they don't like you. It's about they're fully committed with something. Okay, they're in control of their life. You are like an extracurricular. Okay, you're like a, a cream on top where if they, you know, if they to, you're the cream on top where you're very, they're tempted to try you. They actually did, but they know that if they, you know, lick the cream on top and ate it fully, they, it might get them, it might get them an upset stomach or it might get them fat. So they can only taste you a little bit and stay in course with whatever plan they've got before. So yeah, I felt like the seven of pentacles is you realizing that you tried getting into them, you know, you put an input, but it never grow like the investment you shared or the feelings, the effort you, you shared or you gave to this person in the past. It, it, it never succeeded, okay? From past to present, ten of wands. So in order for you not to be hurt, because three of swords in reverse, there's a possibility of third party in here or you coming from your end. But <coughs> if this is not the person, the third party, it is a third party could be an external, you know, commitment, work, career, finance that is um, getting into the way of you guys being successful. So what I see happening from your end is that Ten of Wands, you have decided to um, unburden yourself from hoping and expecting from this person because it's just causing you pain, okay? Um, you want this person badly, you tried, but it never grow. You know, you the investment, the feelings you, you gave with this person, the investment you gave this person, you felt like it was a loss. And in order for you not to get you know, not to get hurt, you've decided to unlink yourself to this person. You you decided to stop or you're slowing down to give them pentacles or effort or attention. Although I feel like there's part of you, there's still this feeling of you admire them, okay? Um, both of you, you are in a, um, you're getting out of that um, confusing energy, okay? 
there's something your situation your if you merge your energy together um the setup is incorrect because someone is not ready and someone is ready you're ready you're trying your person is not ready and they're tempted to try you so it is a conflict of interest all right now if you if you look if you zoom together now in a more present energy your person is very very much ready you are not sure okay because you haven't received a full um security you haven't actually felt that um secure feelings that your person want the same commitment or feelings or direction you are or you want to head off and i think this is the time where they will make it feel for you okay this is that time so i'm hearing the word congratulation because finally your person is in full i don't know full fully looking at you the knight of swords in reverse right now um they're not making an action yet it's still in a reviewing process but one thing about how they feel towards you is that they want to revive they want to review they want to reprocess it into something successful okay it's more of we've started out with we, we've started off something and i want to get this done successfully they want to get you to feel um to feel like you're not left out that's what i'm getting in here so yeah it's kind of making up with you in a in a six of wands energy where I don't know, for some of you, I feel like they will take you out on a date. They will make it up with you big time because this is success. Six of Wands is about success. Six of Wands is about grand gesture. If they weren't able to showcase that to you in the past, they're more in um, in the position to show you that in, in the present to immediate future, okay? From May to June, I expect this person to resurface. So hopefully... Um, you don't have any bitterness if you still love or like this person and you don't have any bitterness, I think this would be successful, okay? Because I felt like there might be a resistance or a spite or a, or a pain or, you know, you could be defensive with this person because of how they react with you in the past. They want to offer a six of ones energy. Um, very positive, okay? They're very positive. Of course, they do, they're not the one who hurt you. They're the one who brought disappointment. So they don't have any baggage. You are the one who felt, I don't know, left out. So you're channeling or you're having this, a bit of pain or disappointed feeling. So um, it might take a while for this person to convince you. Depending on your situation, but I felt like there is around specifically May or June that your person is going to try, Okay. So good luck to you guys. This is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I hope you see to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.